painful, scarred and with limbs that weigh up to 16 kgs, these people had no hope left. With no cure available for most of these lymphatic diseases, all they could do was hope for a miracle. A miracle that is now here thanks to a small NGO called the Institute of Applied Dermatology. Started in 1999 by a group of dedicated medical practitioners who believe that an integrated medical approach combining Ayurveda, Yoga and Biomedicine along with other Indian medicines alone could cure many diseases like lymphedema and vitiligo. Using this theory, a team of doctors spearheaded by Dr. Narahari came up with a cure for lymphatic filariasis after strenuous research and numerous clinical trials. The lymphatic system helps fight infection and keeps the body fluids in balance. When it fails to work properly due to infections or blockages, it causes fluid buildup in the tissues and causes swelling. Affecting more than 120 million people in mostly Africa, Indian subcontinent and in South Asia Pacific, lymphatic filariasis or elephantiasis is slowly spreading across the globe. In India alone, over 25 million people are affected in 15 states. Caused by thread-like parasitic filarial worms who lodge in the lymphatic system and produce millions of microfilae that circulate in the blood, it is transmitted to other humans by the bite of a Culex mosquito. In 2004, IAD developed a cure for lymphatic filariasis, which is simple, painless, can be done at home and is non-invasive. The patients are first admitted to the hospital for 14 days, where they are given treatment and also taught how to continue the treatment from home. The treatment, which lasts for about one and a half hours, starts with the patient's affected area being washed by medicated soap and water taking care to wash among the folds for larger limbs. The limb is then submerged in an Ayurvedic skincare solution called Fanta. After careful drying of the limb, a skincare or antibiotic cream is applied depending on the patient's condition. It is then followed by yoga. Immediately after this, the patients are given a massage using an innovative style developed by IAD called the Indian Manual Lymph Drainage or IMLD method. After this, the affected part is wrapped in compression bandages. Post ILMD yoga is done on an empty stomach after a few hours or on the next day. Patients with a very severe case are given a treatment called Ekanga Swedna. The patient now continues this treatment at home for six months along with two oral Ayurvedic medicines for skin care and lymphedema along with following a strict vegetarian diet. With patients now seeing at least a 50% reduction of swelling in the affected limbs, they are now able to resume normal activities. I am going to the treatment has also been proven to cure many other lymphedema diseases like ulcers and the swelling experienced by cancer patients after chemotherapy and radiation. IAD has managed to do all this and more thanks to its beneficiaries and collaborators who all share its zeal in curing the world of this disease. IAD has found laurel and recognition from all over the world, having already won the President's Award from the International Society of Lymphology. Their findings have also been published in many famous medical journals all over the world. I applaud what is happening here. I applaud it because it has listened to patients. I applaud it because it is being delivered in the home. I applaud it because it is low cost and locally available. I congratulate Dr. Nahawi and his team. 
IID has now helped more than 370 people and has over 700 patients waiting for treatment. Planning to help more people, they are setting up a new 100-bed hospital in Kasargod, which will offer treatment as well as have a training facility. They will also establish self-help groups of patients to help eradicate this problem at the grassroots level. With underprivileged patients receiving treatment for free and the cost of the treatment being as low as 20,000 Indian rupees, IAD has created a cure that is accessible to the common man, the very person who needs it the most.